Welcome back to the Barley Lads. As always, I'm Zane with Bryce behind the camera. Today, we're talking about the Busker Irish Whiskey. The Busker Irish Whiskey. This is a blended Irish whiskey. This is out of the Royal Oak Distillery in Royal Oak County, Carlo. The ABV is 40% or 80 proof. This is a non-age statement with a minimum of three years as an Irish whiskey. Price-wise, you should be able to get this between $23 and $30, wherever you are. Mash bill, this actually has all three types of Irish whiskey in the blend. Uh, it has a pot still component, a grain component, as well as a single malt component. All right, let's taste some whiskey. So this is out of the Royal Oak Distillery in Ireland. Originally this was the Walsh Distillery, but the two co-owners or groups of owners uh, split off in 20, I think 2016 or 2017. Uh, Walsh is, um, is focusing on their Irishman line and the um, Riders Tears lines of, of Irish whiskey. And then the current owners of the Busker brand or Royal Oak Distillery are um, focusing not on all three types of, of Irish whiskey. So they're making uh, single malt, single pot still, and grain whiskey all in their distillery. So on the nose, definitely eat a little bit of tropical fruits. This is a little different than a lot of the, the Irish whiskeys that I've had, certainly the blends. Uh, vanilla, even a little bit of dark chocolate. Definitely some malt, some maltiness from the uh, single malt, which makes sense. We do get a little bit of an alcohol burn, so I would assume it's because it's a, a younger whiskey. It's a very sweet whiskey. You, you expect that when you get an Irish whiskey. This has only been on the market for maybe a year. I haven't had too many tastes of this, as you can see. Um, some of the other bottles that I've already had uh, is my second or third bottles. So this is still kind of new. You get a little bit of gingerbread, a little vanilla. Uh, surprisingly longer finish for, for a younger whiskey. Uh, you get a little bit of green apple that kind of lingers. Um, this, is a, this is a quality whiskey. For a blend, uh, it's <laughs> on the on the side. You get triple cask, triple smooth. Uh, you always get smooth on a lot of the Irish whiskey labels. That's what they want to uh, you know, to to be known by. Uh, interestingly, on their website, I think it was on their website, it lists that it has all four Irish whiskeys in here, which is confusing. Uh, it has the single grain, the single pot still, the single malt, and then it also lists the blended whiskey. So I'm not quite sure how they they gather that they have all four in there. It's a, a little confusing. Um, it is triple cask, so you have the, your Oloroso sherry, you have your bourbon, and the third is I'm drawing a blank. Read my notes. Marsala cask, so another wine influence, probably where it gets some of that that sweetness. They do sell the three component whiskeys separately, also at a higher ABV at 44%, 40 or 88 proof. Um, I am intrigued. I would love to try the, the single grain, single pot still, and single malt that are out there. Uh, they're not available here in Ohio where I am, um, but we were able to get a bottle of this. Um, I, a lot of, of what you get from the Busker website is, is more about the marketing than the whiskey itself, which um, I want to know more about the whiskey. Uh, as opposed to where the name came from and things like that. A busker is a person who plays music on a street. Uh, they're very popular in, in Europe and certainly in, in Dublin and Galway, uh, cities like that in Ireland. But beyond the marketing, which you're not going to sell me a whiskey on marketing, uh, it is actually a very good whiskey, especially for the price. So um, tell me more about the whiskey, and I would love to, to know more about it. So... Yeah, it's just, it's pleasant. It's very pleasant. You're not, 
you're not going to get any uh, any off-putting flavors. Uh, I did get a little alcohol uh, on the smell um, on the, on the nose, but you're not really getting that on the on the tasting. So I would recommend this bottle uh, just as an entry level uh, blend. So, well, guys, thanks again for watching. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell, get the notifications when we're posting new videos like this. Slanja.